Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, Budila, whenever you are ready. So yeah, why not? Is that hero? Let's start. Okay. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello. Hello everyone. How's life there? Welcome to Class Creative International Teaching Conference 2023 with the team Integrating Teaching, Learning, and Assessment in EFL Classes. My name is Yanti Liwastila. I'm an English teacher at SMPN 1 Nan Sambaris, Padang Pariaman Regency, West Sumatra. I'll be responsible for hosting this presentation today, and I'm glad to welcome Mr. Hero Rajaul Khoir, who will present entitled Making Your Own Audio for Listening Materials. Before Mr. Hero deliver his presentation, I'd like to read his CV first, okay? Mr. Hero is an English teacher at SMP Salman Alfarisi Bandung with Java, Indonesia. Is it right, Mr. Hero? Yeah, that's correct. He has been teaching there since 2009 until now. He was graduated from Universitas Islam Negeri Bandung, Sunan Gunung Jati, with Java. Let's see his professional development about his training experience. Microsoft Innovative Educator Trainer 2020, Bitmoji for Beginners with a Class Creative, Canva Education with Class Creative and IC, Design Art in Canva, Class Creative and IC, Quizzy School Trainer since 2021, and he is also Google uh, Certified Educator Level 1 and still many more. What an excellent teacher, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Hero for delivering his presentation. Mr. Hero, are you ready? Inshallah. Okay, the floor is yours. 20, 25 minutes from now. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Budila. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Class Creative Learning Partners. Allow me to do a presentation today. Uh, it's not actually a presentation, but rather it's a tutorial about the thing that I have as a problem for the last 13 years of my teaching experience, okay? So I'm going to share you some of my problems first, and then later on, I will be sharing with you how I actually overcome my problems. Okay, allow me to do a presentation, uh, sorry, a share screen to my presentation. Okay, would you like my screen? Uh, not yet, just waiting maybe, okay. Ready, Hi. Mr. Hito? Okay. Okay, today we're going to learn about making our own audio for listening materials. I'm pretty sure that you have the same issue with me. As an English teacher, we would like to have our own materials that we probably uh, we can actually make our own, okay? We can make our own text, that's obvious, but then about making the, our, own, our own audio, that's something new for me. Why? Because I've been looking for the last 12 years of my teaching experience and the audio materials that I have is actually sold, okay? So I have to, we have to buy it. So right now we're going to learn about making our own audio for listening materials because the technology actually allows us to do so now. Like I said, for the last 13 years, 13 years ago, when I first started teaching, I didn't find much listening audio available for free. Okay, the school have to buy the listening audio and not all schools are actually buy that uh, listening audio. So the English teachers are having this issue, the problems. So we don't have an actual or more than one uh, options of listening audios that we can actually bring to our classroom, okay? And I'm pretty sure uh, most teachers in Indonesia, when they are doing their listening exercises, they actually read out a text. And I'm sure even my own English is not close, not very close to the native speakers of English. 
So I want to bring as much or as close to the English kind of world, the British accents, the American accents, the Australian accents. And I'm not either of them, okay? I'm neither of them. Next is the topics, okay? Of course, there are listening audios available, but then the topics that we have, sometimes it's not actually suitable with our own, our very own unique classroom uh, experiences. So what I'm going to show right now is that we're going to be able to overcome all these three problems that I have. So when, yeah, after the 12 years after uh, the teaching experience, I actually now in the last year, find out how I actually are able to do that, okay? We can actually make our own audio. How do I do, how do I know about this uh, uh, thing that we can do? It's actually from YouTube content creator, okay? So we can actually watch on YouTube how text or sorry, how videos added with a listening audio and it's not actually human. It's actually a robot. It's actually called the text to speech kind of apps. So the YouTube content creators are actually doing that. So I'm actually learning from this YouTube content creator. And after that, I actually learned how to do it. I At first, I thought that it was going to be very hard making my own audio for listening exercises. But then in the end, it's not that hard. And as long as you have the creativity, it is very easy and very simple. Okay. So I'm going to show you these examples. I have a text with me. Would you like, can you please uh, make a comparison? I will be reading the first paragraph and I will be showing you about an audio that I already made with the text. Okay, I will be reading this and please be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Value it whether it is better with me reading it out or actually the audio that I will play it later. Okay. Okay. My lovely cat. I have a stray cat as my pet. He is really playful. He loves to play with me and the new things he found. He has orange and white fur. His fur is so soft and I like to rub it for him. Okay, that's my version. Now I'm imagining me reading that to my five classes, some other maybe like 10 classes, and you have to be like very ready for that. But then here, I'm gonna show you an example and I would like ask Budila later on to judge which one is better. This is the audio that I already have from the text. My lovely cat. I have a stray cat as my pet. He is really playful. He loved to play with me and the new things he found. He has orange and white fur. His fur is so soft and I like to rub it for him. He has a long tail. He likes to play with it. He also tries to catch his tail sometimes. I also like to hold him in my hand. When I hold him like that, he will fall asleep. Okay. Purila. Yep. Be truthful. Which one is better? My version? Oh, that audio version. Which one do you like best? <laughs> you yourself or yeah, audio? Be true yourself. Be true to yourself. <laughs> be honest? Yeah, be honest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, you try to do your, your, your best, but uh, unfortunately, you have to uh, be more <laughs> powerful because every classes that you teach, you need your own voice, but it's better to use the audio. Ah, exactly, yes, I feel that too. Although I have a sufficient English, but I, I still think that my accent is not close to the native speakers. Well, the audio that I've already shown you is actually an American accent. And I'm, I'm, I'm not a very good accent learner. So is it easy to do? Yes, it's actually very easy to do it. Budila, can you guess? Yeah. How long do I need to make that text into the audio. Can you guess? Okay. Uh, it takes uh, around 20 minutes or 30 minutes. No. <laughs> oh, Is that your guess? Is that your best guess? Yeah. Okay. 20 or 30 minutes. It is actually much, much, much shorter than that. It's only takes, it only takes about one wow. to two minutes. If you oh, already have the text, 
then you uh -huh. only have like two minutes to do so. Mm -hmm. okay. So these are the two apps that I actually use for recording that the text. It is called uh, a text to speech. Okay, the text to speech. There are two apps that I'm using. The first one is called the OneNote for Windows 10, the purple one. And the second one is the Audacity. The OneNote for Windows 10 uh, gives us the ability to transform the text into the speech, while the Audacity actually record the text, yeah, the DL audio. OK, this, uh, both of these apps are actually free. So you don't have to think about having to spend more money. It's free. This is uh, what I love from these two apps. But the first one is more special. The OneNote is actually embedded or installed with your Windows 10. If you are installing your laptop with a Windows 10, then this app is already available for free in your laptop. But then if you have a below Windows 10 on your laptop, you can actually install it and still it is for free. Okay, I'm going to stop my share screen and I'm going to be share entire screen so that you can actually see my process. Okay. Yeah, please, Mr. Hero. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah, clear. Okay, but then it, can you see my my web that I'm show, showing you? Okay, would you like to see the web that I'm showing you? Yeah, but it's too large. It's too large? Yeah. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna stop. I need to find entire screen, share screen here. Okay. okay. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm showing you the OneNote. If you don't have an installed, a pre-installed within your laptop, the OneNote, you can actually go to your browser and then type OneNote for Windows 10. Okay, just to make it sure, Budila, can you actually see my Google screen now? Uh-huh. Okay. So you can type one note for Windows 10 and then you simply click here, mm -hmm. OneNote Microsoft Apps, and then all you have to do is install it. Okay, download it and install it. Goes the same with Audacity. Okay, Audacity is actually a free app firmware. So we can you can actually download for free and then install it in your laptop. And it's very functional, very functional. I, I urge you to actually use this Audacity program. Okay, but since I already have both of these uh, apps installed in my laptop, I'm just going to open my OneNote. So here we go. Okay, can you see my OneNote now, Budila? Yeah. Okay. How can we get the text? Actually, that's the easy part. Okay, we can actually get the text from anywhere. You can get the text from the internet, you can type the text from the book, or you can actually make your own text. Okay, the one that I'm going to show you right now is the one that I'm going to tag the text from the internet. I am going to show you a text called Cheetah, which I'm going to take from the Kids National Geographic. Okay. And then we copy the text, we simply copy the text, and then we paste it in our OneNote for Windows 10. Okay, here we go. This is the text that I usually use so much in my classroom for uh, report text. 
Budila, are you deal, teaching with the grade nine at the moment or? Yeah, yeah. Oh. it was hacks. Okay, here we go. I'm going to paste it. Okay, here we go. We're just going to lose the info there. Okay, so we have the text here on our OneNote. What we simply do now, it's, also, it's usually there. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Okay, there's some issue with my laptop. I'm very sorry with that. So this is the text. What we need now is at the top, on the fourth, we have the view menu. Okay, can you see it, Budila? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. the view menu. Click that. Okay. After we have the text, we go to the view menu. And then here down below, just a little bit there, we have the immersive reader. Okay, the immersive reader. So we're going to click that. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Okay, here's the text. Okay, now, before we continue. Oh, amazing. Okay, before we continue, right at the bottom there, there's a voice settings. We can simply click that and mm -hmm. we will have a two version kind of uh, speech. It could be the female or it could be the male. Okay, it could be the female or the male. Right now, I'm going to show you the male version first. After that, we simply play the audio. Click the play button, and then here we go. Cheetah. Fastest mammal on land, the cheetah can reach speeds of 60 or perhaps even 70 miles, 97 or 113 kilometers an hour over short distances. It usually chases its prey at only about half that speed, however. After a chase, a cheetah needs half an hour to catch its breath before it can eat. Yeah, as simple as that. So I already have a speech generated from the text and it is usually it is using the male version. I'm going to show you the female version. The same but different. Cheetah. Fastest mammal on land, the cheetah can reach speeds of 60 or perhaps even 70 miles, 97 or 113 kilometers an hour over short distances. It usually chases its prey at only about half that speed, however. After a chase, a cheetah needs half an hour to catch its breath before it can eat. Okay, what we need to understand is that, of course, a text for reading and a text for uh, listening is a little different. Okay, so we can put or we can edit the text so that we can actually hear uh, the text clearly and then with the right intonations and we as an English teacher have uh, the thing we need to do that so as our own creativity for that so that's the first thing that we can do we use the one note copy the text paste it into the one note and then play it as an immersive reader on your one note and then there you have it two texts of course you cannot imagine Budila me reading a text and it's supposed to be a female version and then me as a male teacher reading a female version, right? So we can actually go back and forth, making a dialogue. The first is the male version and the second one is the female version. This is an example that I already have. This is actually a dialogue, okay, between Andrew and Lucy. So this is all Andrew's dialogues and this is Lucy's dialogues. What we need to do is we make each dialogue's completely different and then put it there differently and then we record it individually. After that, we will edit the audio. Where? That's the second thing that I'm going to show you. This is the Audacity, the one that I already told you to install it in your laptop. This is how we are going to record the listening materials. Okay, so this is our, the setup. Okay, we need to set up the thing Okay, we need to ensure 
on the audio setup, the recording device should be put on stereo mix because then all the speaking me uh, me speaking won't be interrupting uh, the process of recording it. Okay, again, we need to set the audio on the recording device, put it into the stereo mix. So after we install the program, the Audacity, in which I'm not showing you right now, uh, the process of installing the Audacity because it is very simple. But after you have the Audacity installed in your laptop, the first thing that you need to set up is the recording device. So simply go there to the audio setup at the top and then go to recording device and then pick stereo mix. Okay, I'm going to show you how. Here we go. I'm going to play the audio. Sorry. We're going to click the record button first and then we go back to our OneNote and play the OneNote uh, text to speech generated. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm ready to go and really excited. Yes. It's always good when the local football team plays at home. Everyone is excited and hoping that the team will win. And then when we get here to the turnstile and get into the ground with our ticket. I just hope the match to start now. Yes, we are lucky. We have a great view from here. Let's cheer loudly to support the team so they will hopefully win. Okay, now I have already recorded on my Audacity. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to move back. I'm going to delete that part because we don't need that. Simply by dragging, dragging it and then click delete on your tab, sorry, on your keyboard. You can go back, goes the same with the first part of the audio, blocked and then delete. Let's play the audio. Yes, I'm ready to go and really excited. Yes. It's always good when the local football team plays at home. Everyone is excited and hoping that the team will win. And then when we get here to the turnstile and get into the ground with our ticket. Okay, Budila, that's how about it? Do you think it's easy to do? Yeah, because hmm. uh, it's support, yeah? Yes. I'm going to show you another part where Andrew actually speak his part. And then we're going to make a combination between Andrew and Lucy in uh, the recording. Okay. I'm going to record the Andrew part. And as usual, don't forget to set the male version because it's an, a discussion between uh, Lucy and Andrew. And Andrew is a male. Okay. Set it up. Don't forget, at the bottom there, set the audio, and then click the mail, and then you're ready to go. Click the play button. Hi, how are you? Ready to go? It should be a good match and great atmosphere. I love being able to walk to the stadium with all the other supporters. It's good to see all the scarves and football shirts. It is also good to be able to sit in the same seats each time as we have our season tickets. Great. The referee is about to blow the whistle to start the match. Okay, so I have already recorded okay, the entry part. So I'm going to stop. Okay, so we have there two audios. Okay, two audios. That's the first one. I'm sorry. That's the first one from Lucy and also the second one from Andrew. And we're going to mix that up. Okay, sorry. Don't forget, we need to delete this long part where we don't even need it. Okay. Okay, this is the second audio. I'm going to put it on the next track.
sorry. Oops. Okay, that's about it. So we need to split the audio from Lucy and also from Andrew. What we need to do is block and then click on your mouse, the right click, and then split the clip. And then so you have this individual part of the audio. That's about it, Bu Dila. Yeah. Is that all? Yes. Oh, well, amazing. Okay, Budila. Voice, yeah. The one that I'm showing you is actually the free app where we can use the one that we already have on our laptop. But actually, in the web, we already we we have other apps that actually do the same thing, like the OneNote. Okay, I'm going to show you another app that we can use. Sorry, another app that we can use with uh, generating the text to speech audio. The one that I usually use is called the natural readers. And the one that I showed earlier using the OneNote for Windows 10, there are only two, uh, one version, one male, one female. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. But here with the natural readers, there are more than one options, more than one of them. Look, we have so many versions. We have Davis, Jane, sorry. We have the English US version. We have the English UK version. We have the English Australian version, etc. And all you have to do is play and copy here on this natural readers, your text, and then play it and then record it using the audacity program that already that is already installed in your app and in your laptop sorry and uh, Mr. Hero, yeah? we just have uh, one minute more one minute more yeah okay just going to show you a little bit the one that i'm sharing right now is the natural readers here i'm going to use the version from sorry from davis okay Let's see how Davis actually speak his word. Okay, sorry. Okay, here we go. Cheetah. Fastest mammal on land, the cheetah can reach speeds of 60 or perhaps even 70 miles an hour over short distances. It usually chases its prey at only about half that speed, however. After a chase, a cheetah needs half an hour to catch its breath before it can eat. Yeah, so we have another uh, version of speakers that we can actually use with the natural readers. And all you have to do is copy and paste the text there and then record it with Audacity program that is already installed in your laptop. That's about it, Badila. Thank yep. you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Hero. Hey, well, I hope you all enjoyed this amazing presentation. Okay, why don't we give applause for Mr. Hero first? <laughs> we also have some questions, Mr. Hero. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we come to uh, the last session, yeah, for our uh, 10 minutes QA. And then uh, would you please answer some questions that were sent to us uh, during the presentation? Okay, so uh, let's check for the first question is, uh, is there any other app available to make the text um, to speech available for free out there? Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah, I already showed you earlier that there are actually a web app version uh, that we can actually use to record and to make the text to speech. The first one that I'm already sharing is the natural readers. And it's not the only one. There are free TTS, there are uh, Watson text to speech or the voice maker. Uh, yeah, plenty of them. Even if we don't have the OneNote for Windows 10, we can actually use 
the Microsoft Office, the Microsoft Word, it is actually uh, able to do so. But uh, I'm not really sure why, but the quality of the Microsoft Word uh, text-to-speech is a little different with the OneNote for Windows 10. It is more uh, stable using the OneNote for Windows 10. But then we can actually use the Microsoft Word to make the text-to-speech generated. Okay. Free, oh well. Okay, Mr. Hero, for the second question, I choose. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the question: Is it support for all laptop or not? It is supported uh, for all laptops. If mm -hmm. our laptop not support or under Windows ten, because you mentioned that uh, our our laptop should be a Windows ten. Yeah, it can find in Windows ten. So. What about this? Yeah, uh, if we don't have a Windows 10 installed in our laptop, we can simply go to the web and click OneNote for Windows 10 and then download it. And then we install it in our laptop. We can actually do that. And it is free. That's the thing that I love about this app. It is free because what don't you love? It's free for teachers. You don't have to pay for anything. And then you can make the text-to-speech as freely as you can. There is no limitation. There is no limit of how many words that you can actually use. You can make the entire paragraph or three paragraphs or even one page of a text and then copy your text and then paste it in your OneNote for Windows 10 and then it will play the audio by the AI immersive reader thing. And then it all you have to do... Yeah. 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 Sorry? Mm -hmm. Should be uh, downloaded? Yeah, you need to download it. But it's free again. Don't worry. It's free, and the the media doesn't take much space on your hard disk. It's small. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the third question, Mister Hero. Um. Wow. The question. <laughs> um. We choose uh, voice selection. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, female or male? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. How about teenager voice? Is that available? <laughs> oh, exactly. Good questions. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, in the OneNote version, okay, the the teenagers or the child voice is not available. Okay, but we, we need that. Okay, as an English teacher, and I'm teaching at SMP, and you are too, Budila. Mm -hmm. uh, we need that uh, teenager's voice. It is not available on the OneNote for Windows 10, however, but then we can use the one that I already showed you earlier. It's the natural readers. It is uh, one of the options that we can choose is Anna as a child actually speaking it for us. Okay. Do we still have a time, Mr. Hero, for the last question? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, uh, we should transform the text, yeah? We know that uh, written text and oral text is different. So uh, it should uh, ch uh, choose, yeah? And then uh, we come to the app and then uh, it will be uh, speech. So what should we do to make our audio uh, can be oral uh, text? Mm, because think, yeah. from the presentation, we show, we show that. Uh, written text is that, and then if it is audio, so it would be oral text. It's different, right? Yeah, in the sense that um, how an audio, sorry, how an oral presentation will be, it's different from the text that we actually read. Yeah. But then we can simply play that around why with using the sorry the punctuations, mm -hmm. the comma, put it away or uh, put it into next paragraph so that when it it's generated to the speech, it will be naturally like the oral presentation instead of like the text presentations. Okay, uh, allow me to do a little a demo about that. Okay, mm -hmm. this is an, an example mm -hmm. I actually do. Okay, here are text. Uh, hello, everyone. Sorry, hello, everyone. My oh, yeah. name is Hero. This is how I actually spell my name, but when it is played with the immersive reader, it will be pronounced as Hero because I'm not a hero, I'm Hero. 
So we will actually going to be playing around with it. Okay. So I'm going to show you here a little. Hello, everyone. Yeah. My name is Hero. It's Hero. It's pronounced Hero. That's not my name, although it's spelled correctly, but that's not my name. So I'm going to play around a little bit. I'm going to add an A in front of E, and I'm going to play it again. So this is how my name will be closely uh, pronounced, okay? All right, okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Hero. See, it's closer. It's Hero, not Hero, because not yes. my name is not Hero. So we will play around with that so that it's going to be closer to the speech uh, that we expected. Okay. Oh, well, it's really, really inspiring, Mr. Hero. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are inspiring teacher for all. Okay, thank you again, Mr. Hero, for answering those questions and for the great presentation. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you with us, Mr. Hero. Okay. Before we close, we can conclude that. Um, making this uh, listening audio materials and uh, by using uh, free apps, deliver it to our students and it is uh, can be make our teaching more interesting is it yes is of course yeah. i've been uh, doing it. i've been doing it in my class and my students find it interesting uh, all, right. all right okay thank you all for attending we hope you have learned and enjoyed this presentation uh, we can see the next webinar. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Bilahi Taufik wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah. Thank you very much, Budila, Butris, Bu Jenny, mm -hmm. Bu Kosa for joining in. Um, thank you.